Captain on the bridge. All right, captains, we are back on the bridge. And today, yes, we got some things to go over from the Star Trek Online official X feed. So on screen. Yes, captains, before we get into this video, do us a huge favor. Hit that like button. Also, if you're new here, welcome. Consider subscribing here to our YouTube bridge as we're always on the lookout for like-minded captains where we can share our love, our passion for Star Trek Online, but also things Star Trek. Now, with that said, here we go. Captains, we got a couple of blogs, so as always, we're going to go over them, drop the EC, sprinkle them over, and of course, at the end, give our conclusion. So, first things up here, we'll start with this. For a limited time on PC, save 35%. On all of the legendary bundles we've released so far including the returning 10 ship bundle let's go over here and again captains as always this is my number one recommendation when it comes to the legendary bundles is the 10th anniversary bundle i myself am trying to get this on the console bridge i'm very close the sale going on there for the legendary bundle i cannot get yet I think I'm about 16,000, 16,500 Zen. So hopefully by the end of this year, I'll be able to get it. But once I get that, I feel like I'll be set there. I can use all of these hero ships and even get the recently canonized Odyssey. So that is just awesome. Again, highly recommend this bundle. Along with the others there, we've done our recommendations. The only bundle that I don't have is the Gem Hadar one. That's because I don't really think it's worth it for me personally although the trait is great the ship is great i already have the bug ship personally on my gem head artoon i just don't think it's worth it for me but we have done recommendations before and we will do that again here in the near future when it comes to these bundles again but maybe i'll link the one that we did in terms of ranking the bundles that we've had so there is that Go over the save 35% on legendary items, which is a good sale. It is a really good sale. 35% is kind of the top one that we've been seeing. I don't rarely see any more 40s or even 50%. Well, the MUDs, they do it there, but I don't count it really because of how ridiculously priced they are regardless. But this is a good sale. This is a definitely good sale. So on PC, of course, so for my PC caps. So captains of the ships of Star Trek are a character onto themselves. And we find ourselves attached to the ships that have become legendary. Now, you can own these legendary ships for a lot cheaper. So from August 3rd to August 7th, you can save 35% on all the legendary bundles we've ever released, including the 10 ship legendary bundle. That's right, the anniversary bundle is back for a limited time. Captains, get your hands on the ships that come with every look, trait, and console that had ever been released for them up to the point of their initial sale and take a captain up to level 65 instantly. So again, great bundle, the 10th anniversary it is, and highly recommend it. if you don't have it, especially for free to play captains, this is the best one to go for. It's taken me about two years, it will take me about two years to get that on my console account, but it will be definitely definitely worth it. Now the 10th anniversary bundle, if you don't get it this time, they, it does come back on and off in the Zen store about four or five times a year, depending how much they want to do it. But if you miss this time again, it'll be there again. Don't you worry. So there's that. And we're going to leave it on this. Like you see the thumbnail here on this video, because it's kind of shocking that we got this, but we'll go over it. And of course, Drop the ECs on it. So PC captains, do you believe in a no-win scenario? Progress on this year's event campaign and unlock a special Proto Star set from Star Trek Prodigy. So the last thing we heard from Prodigy was it was dropped from Paramount, which is weird. But even before that, it coming into Star Trek Online, Master Kale said that all kind of things kind of fell apart trying to get it here. So I kind of wrote it off that we would never see anything from Star Trek Prodigy, let alone the, the ship itself, the Protostar. But here we, here we go. We have something at the very least, and hopefully this will lead into possibly that ship coming into game, the Protostar. Now, not a fan of it, personally. I know a lot of captains are, 
never actually got into Prodigy. But again, it would just be nice regardless of having anything that we've seen on screen come to Star Trek Online. But there's that. Let's go to the blog here. So do you believe in a no-win scenario? Engage in a no-win scenario and get a new space set based on the protostar from Star Trek Prodigy. So from across the quadrants, captains of all species and creeds understand the value of occasionally pushing themselves to the limits to find out how far their equipment and their willpower can take them and just how much fight they can muster when the situation is its direst. Screw your courage. <laughs> it's sticking place. That's, that's a good one. And dive headlong. I don't know why I found that funny. Headlong into these classic tests of metal. Dare to face the no-win scenarios. This event will include multiple TFOs previously featured individually in a combined featured event that will allow players to choose their preferred test each day while earning daily progress toward a new grand prize reward. Defend the Kobayashi Maru in a starship base simulation in a hazard strewn space environment or take on a wave after wave of randomized enemy encounters within the dangerous confines of the arena of Sompak. Participating in this event will give all players the opportunity to win a new space set based on the protostar from the Star Trek Prodigy for their entire account. Keep reading for details on these items, how you can participate in the event, and what additional prizes may be earned. So take the tests again. Two existing activities will be participating in this event, so Arena of Sompek, Ground TFO, in the interest of strengthening the alliance against its enemies and providing entertainment. The Klingons have agreed to allow other members to participate in the legendary Kudhas event. You've been invited to Konos to participate as representatives of the Alliance. It will be good practice with battles ahead and should be good for morale. The event version of the simulation ends after you complete round 7. Kobayashi Maru Space TFO The legendary Kobayashi Maru simulation has been updated to represent more of the risks of the modern galactic environment, defend the ill-fated ECS Kobayashi Maru from attackers amidst increasingly dangerous waves of enemies, while avoiding randomized obstacles and hazards. The event version of this simulation ends after you complete round 6. They're both pretty quick, to be honest with you, Caps. But we do the space one because, yes, space pew pews. While most of the action players will engage in during these TFOs have not changed for this event, a few minor adjustments have been made to each will present for length of this event's run. As noted above, each has a fixed duration during the events prior to the designated ending point. Neither can be failed. During this event, the untimed infinite versions of these TFOs will be temporarily disabled. Each completion will reward a choice of all marks. Great way, great way to build your reputation to get the gear you need and if you're done with the gear get the marks anyways and convert them into dill ore so that you can convert them ultimately to zen at least that's what i do replacing the usual mark rewards both tfos have had their cooldowns timers temporarily disabled so you can do this over and over again and you can get the daily bonus of all the marks so that if you have the patience to do so that's something that you can do Review your results. Viewing the details of this event in-game is as simple as opening your journal and navigating to the events tab. From here, all of the pertinent information is at your fingertips, as are simple to use buttons that allow quick access to the associated content for this event. As a core feature of the updated event system, all progress points gained toward completion of the event are shared across your entire account, and all earned progress is automatically tracked and applied toward completing the event. Players will be able to earn their daily progress once every 20 hours. Either of the above TFOs may be played as much as you like each day. So pick and choose how you prefer to gain progress each day and mix it up as much or as little as you like. So again, the event campaign, the no win scenario event will be one of the events participating in the latest event campaign. Each day that your daily requirement is met, the standard daily allotment of 50 event campaign progress will be applied to your progress toward completion of the event campaign's grand prize. Rewards accruing a total of 14 days worth of daily progress will allow you to claim the grand prize of this event. This reward includes all of the following. Again, the Protostar Experimental Technology Space Set. Based on one of Starfleet's most intriguing and mysterious starships, the Protostar, 
the set of space technology will bring you to bleeding edge of modern space bearing tech. This set comes with a warp core or singularity drive, an omnidirectional beam, and a shield. Here are the details. So we get another omnidirectional beam. Protostar, see the multi placative covariant shield. Kind of a nice little visual there, kind of reminds me of the Mako. Multi placative covariant shield grants you a unique protostar based visual and includes a special bonus that causes shield regen to improve on facings where shield strength is low. Now we all know caps, or if you don't know, shields here in Star Trek Online are as much as we want them to be a thing, they're not a thing. <laughs> Especially as soon as you fight the Borg, they just take your shield down. Will this help? Who knows? Would I replace this with the current shield set that I'm using? Probably not. But can you use it for the visuals? Or use it for the visuals? Of course you can because you can pretty much get away with anything in Star Trek Online, especially when it comes to the true end game, which is Space Barbie. Next up, the Protostar Omni Beam Phaser, always welcome. So this phaser is a standard omnidirectional phaser with new visuals based on the Protostar in Star Trek Prodigy. So the beam there, I have seen the Protostar in action. It is more deeper red, kind of reminds me of the Picard visuals of the phasers they have. So that's gonna be pretty cool. Mind you, it's not going to match everything else on your ship if you're using the other standard phasers, like the orange ones or the obliviating or the agony. There, it's going to be a different kind of looking visual there. So I wish we can get a full set of this because that looks pretty close to what we've seen in Picard. And I would love to have that visual because it's more of a deeper red and I kind of like that. And it looks a little thinner, but we're going to have to wait and see. So Protostar Dual Warp Core or Dual Singularity Core. This special Dual Warp Singularity Core gives bonuses to power levels while at high throttle and bonus to turn rate while at low throttle. Equipping multiple items in the set creates bonuses for your ship. If you equip two of the three pieces, you gain a bonus to shield drain resistance and a bonus to critical chance for science powers. If you equip all three, you can have the ability to offensively eject your warp core in combat. It looks a little something like this. So the rock and roll maneuver, you do that and then boom, spit out your warp core. And looks like just cause a very ticklish amount of damage there, but it looks cool. I guess the protostar did that. I'm not too sure again, Caps, I did not watch Star Trek Prodigy. But it's welcomed. It can't say that it's not welcomed. Again, I wasn't really sure that we would be getting anything from Prodigy, but it looks like we are getting that. And you know what? Just for fun, we're probably going to use that. And I already have an idea. So if things line up, we may be able to get that idea by the time that I build out there with this idea that I have by the time we get this set. So. There you go, Captains. That is the latest from the Star Trek Online X feed. So do us a huge favor. Hit that like button. Comment below. Let us know what you think of us getting something from Star Trek Prodigy. And if you think we are going to get eventually the Protostar, which again, some Captains I know do like. So, And of course, if you're new here, consider subscribing here to our YouTube bridge. And of course, as always, we will leave it on this note. Live long and prosper.